Neela, it's not just people retired and may not be coming back, but it could be that a caregiver has to stay home if school hasn't been steady, hasn't gotten back to the point where somebody can say, okay, I can actually go back into the workforce, yes, yeah, because I can count on having child support and child care. You know, it, we shouldn't forget that in September of last year, women left the workforce at four times the rate of men. And so those bottlenecks in childcare are still there. And I, I do think we need to kind of rephrase um, how we're thinking about supply and demand to pick up Kate, on Kate's point earlier. What we see is job openings and we see hires. But there are 10 to 15 steps in between, between a job posting and a hire. And at each step along that way, there's a bottleneck. And there is a huge logistics problem underway in the labor market. When I was at the CFTC, we studied the market microstructure of the financial markets in infinitum. We were very detailed. But no one really has that approach to the labor market logistics problem. How do we get people back into the market? What are the logistics? Is it really a labor shortage or is it a skill shortage? Is Where is it geographically? And I think more attention needs to pay on that. And I'm really dismayed, I have to say, by leisure and hospitality because it has been leading jobs growth. If it's not showing up in these numbers in the labor market, then it really dampens the outlook for the jobs recovery going forward. Austin, are, are you convinced that this exactly. is a logistic? Is oh, this sorry. a logistics problem, or do you think that there's actually a much larger? I mean, I'm into this. I don't even know how to think about this when it comes to the, those who are quote unquote retiring. But I also wonder whether there's a huge population that that actually saved some of those checks earlier on that are now basically planning to live off them for a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe they saved the checks. Look, this the savings rate did go up pretty substantially at, in the beginning of the pandemic, but the savings rate's been coming down pretty, pretty rapidly. And we were hoping that that was going to lead to a consumption-led boom, really. So I, I still think that the, the until we can get control of the spread of the virus, we might have multiple months that are disappointing like this. Because not just the logistics, which are problematic on a sort of a sector by sector basis, but overall demand. Um, if people can't go out and spend, what you saw in the pandemic is periods like that are, are tough for the economy. So let's hope that this downturn in the number of cases is is going to persist and we can get back under under control. But the other big question is, you know, employers obviously paying more than they were before. How much more are they going to have to pay to get people back in the workforce? I mean, I think that's the real question, and that's what, what most business leaders who are watching this this morning thinking to themselves, how am I going to get, how am I going to get the, enough people to actually, you know, come back to work? Yes. Uh, look, I, I think that some of that is going to be the, and maybe the, that's related a good thing. to maybe, the conditions. Right. Yeah. Look, some of that's related to the conditions of the virus you've seen, especially in industries where you're exposed face to face to customers or you're working very closely with with neighboring workers. Those are the last place that people want to come back. They say, I'm not going back to work at minimum wage in an environment where, where I could get sick. Um, so maybe if we impr improve on the virus, we can improve on that. Uh, but the second, you, you see that most of the conventional explanations, like the people who are saying, oh, it's, it's all coming from UI, they don't really work. And when they get rid of the bonus UI payments, you don't see a, a big flowing back in of the labor force. So I think it's going to be a tough period. You know, uh, broadly defined, we're having logistical problems um, where your workforce is just like suppliers of computer chips and, and other material. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.